time for Video Waves, brought to you by Northampton Community Club. Part of the idea out here is to have an experimental garden. So you're going to have all kinds of different people trying out different techniques, and this is one of them. This year we have uh, 24 new plots going in. We got together with some civil and environmental engineers from Lafayette, and uh, they helped us design what's called a bios whale, which is basically you, you excavate the area and backfill it with an engineered soil mix that filters out heavy metals and hydrocarbons out of the parking lot runoff, so it's clean for irrigation. There's a tank at the bottom of that system, and then there's a pump, a pump and a pipe that pipes it back up here. So the solar power was basically the reason, the main reason we needed it was to power the pump, to pump the water. Um, and then as a bonus, we get to use it for all kinds of other things. All right, so this is our hoop house. We bought a kit, a $700 kit, to build this 32-foot um, plastic greenhouse, essentially. So this is going to expand our possibilities as far as um, gardening into the, the cold months, especially because um, you know we have a lot more students on campus during the school year, which is obviously the colder months. We just got the plastic on, and it's already hot in here. So this is going to give us an opportunity to do all kinds of things during the fall, winter, and early spring. Lots of seedlings going early. This is going to give us, as a club, something to do actively in the garden all winter, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to produce some food. So this is a cold frame, basically just a frame that you stick on top of a raised bed that has either glass or plastic that lets through sunlight, and it kind of insulates the area so you can still grow plants um, after the temperatures get too cold to grow them outdoors. Long into the fall, they'll continue growing and they'll stay alive through the winter too, even after they stop growing. This is, this is, uh, this is a children's garden, so I imagine uh, just about anything that's fairly easy for kids. Um, carrots, um, tomatoes are fairly easy also to plant. I'm effectively aerating the soil a little bit already, chopping up all the weeds and uh, just like I said, getting it ready, getting ready for the planting. You don't want them to get too crowded. Okay, and then you just take the dirt and you backfill it just like this. And then this year, you should start to see little pencil thin little spikes coming up. And we're not gonna harvest any of that this year. We're gonna let that get to like a plume. It'll get to like a feather. And then from the feathers, there'll be seeds and the seeds will drop into the soil. And that will help to keep the bed going from year to year. And then I'll walk you over to where there is already an asparagus bed going. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you what the asparagus looks like because there's a couple sprouts that are up. <laughs> 